Hello, my name is Fear Phelps of Phelps 3D, and in this FreeCAD 016 tutorial, I'm going to be doing another lesson out of the Introduction to Solid Modeling using SolidWorks 2010 book. The thing is, is that there aren't a whole lot of exercises or things you can do or books on FreeCAD. So I'm trying to take lessons out of uh, different modeling programs, books, and convert them over so I can see how to do the same things in FreeCAD. This isn't so much just so uh, to do a 3D printing project as to just learn how to convert it into FreeCAD. Now, the lesson I'm going to do this time is a pulley. It is from page 34 of the book. Uh, 1.5 part created with rotated geometry. I've already gone ahead and converted everything from inches into metric for this demo. So we're going to start in part design, create a sketch. I'm going to use the YZ plane. Say OK. And Use the multi-line tool. Basically creating something that looks like an I-beam, but a little bit different on the top. from here to here is just one inch, so 25.4. One seventy seven point eight. Okay, the length of this one here is going to be whoops, sorry, fifty point eight.
I'll set these the same. This one, because it has that constraint, both sides are going to be the same right now. Now, I want to make sure that this is centered. So I'm going to put a symmetry constraint on it. I'm going to add some. Still have a conflicting. Oh, I see what happened. I hit the wrong one. This here is 12.7. This point is 38.1. play with this notch up here later. Um, now this middle section here is 6.35. This is going to be a little weird. These here, this the angle that's this is supposed to be at from here to here is 40 degrees. Actually, first I'm going to set a different. I need to set a height here because I haven't yet. That's 12.7. Now, because these are supposed to be 40 degrees, 
ain't it hard to do a 40 degree from here to here I'm not sure how well that would work I could try it at an angle oh that works okay you could have done 20 you could have done 20 from this here the center uh, on z-axis and that would have worked too you could have made two 20s from that but seems like that one works so that's that's 40 degree there that's that part Okay, now we have to do some fillets. We're going to be filling this, 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 this. So, before I mess with the radius of those fillets, I want to remake really sure that this is set. 6.35 and then I'll click this we're going to set that to a 6.35 radius I'm going to undo that, so I should have set that to a, so that it's back to being that, basically a symmetry constraint. Now I can try the 6.35, and it should adjust both of them. Here, do the same sort of thing. I'm going to keep the make sure that there's a symmetry constraint. Click this, change it to the 6.35. Let's change both of them. Okay. That's basically it. The, we've got our part that we're going to rotate into our pulley. Click close, rotate. Now, um, hmm. there we go. It's okay. That's our pulley there. Now I'm going to click on this, create another sketch, and we're going to create a, basically a box here. It has a 6.35 again. Basically, this is just the um, key notch. Um, I'm going to pin it to that axis, give it a symmetry constraint, and then make sure I just got one of those. It's is a uh, 15.24 Huh They can't be pinned to the thing. How does <laughs> Sorry This is the size it said in the book but if 
that can't be pinned to the axis then. because I just took notes and then I can't figure out I thought that was pinned to this so we'll just put it there for right now so close and then we can pocket through all say okay There we have our pulley. Save. I'll repeat it and I'll repeat it and I'll repeat it. Always check your file before you try to print anything. Of course you probably wouldn't print this, it would probably be CNC or something else. And no problems, so that's good. Oops. Uh, we'll 3D print. Thank you for watching and have a good day.